All right, so this is something else I'm doing. And essentially, you can get the Art of Holding program, the money management program, and some other special stuff if you go below and sign up for the credit repair call. Now, once again, the credit repair is free, but you have to pay for the courses. And I, I'll get this question, it's like, and the link is below. You just hit this link below and sign up. Now, I'm gonna get this question, it's like, the credit repair is free. I don't want the courses. Can I get the credit repair? And I'm like, no. For you to be able to get the credit repair, you must buy the courses. Literally, I, I had a, a guy who wanted me to teach him credit repair, and I told him 15,000. And he said, why so much? I'm teaching you a skill where you can make millions. You go to college, drop 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars for a degree that won't get you a job, but this this will make you some money. And he he just kind of went away. But go ahead, hit that link, and uh, book your call. And once again, ideally you should sign up with Identity IQ so we can get your credit reports. We must look at your credit reports and do that below. And I will see you guys in this video where I'm going to teach you how to never, ever, ever get turned down for a credit card ever again in life if you follow these directions. Do you never want to be denied for another credit card again as long as you live? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to never, ever get denied for another credit card, how to get denied for a car loan, or even now how to get denied for buying your next home. All right. so. Here's the thing, right now, there's a lot of information on the internet and all of this information to keep you and prevent you from getting your credit card application denied is on the internet. You heard of a site called myfico.com, they have a forum. There's another site called creditboards.com, they have a forum. If you go to the internet and look up credit information blogs or credit boards, you will find a ton of stuff. And this is one of the things that's really interesting. On these credit boards, there's something that's called a pull list. And people will report to this pull list like, hey, I went to Truist, I got a Truist credit card, and they pulled this credit bureau and I live in this state. So they will tell you, because literally about 10 minutes of research is all you need. Once you, well, let me go ahead and say, for someone who's never done it, it could take you hours because you don't know where to look. But my FICO boards is a good resource, creditboards.com. And essentially that's all I use. But typically because I know how the credit game works. Number one, you need to consistently stop applying for stuff. Because I'm just amazed. Because like right now with the credit repair business, I am seeing people, this guy went for a vehicle shopping and his credit got pulled 35 times 35 times i was just sitting there like what the it, it, it was crazy so typically i'll do a video about that in the future but typically you do not want your credit report pulled unless you know you're going to get the credit card so here's one of the things that will happen with that Number one, you will need on the internet for virtually every credit card out there, there is some information on one of these credit boards on what credit score you need to get approved for this credit card. Like take Capital One. Capital One is a very interesting company. Capital One, Capital One has a subprime portfolio, um, a level of people that's above that, and then they have their top tier profile. Typically, if you want the Capital One Venture X card and to get a high $30,000 limit, you need to have a clean credit report. You need to have no derogs. What well, is derogatory? Let's talk about that. Late pays, collections, and all this other stuff. Because essentially, what you want to do is groom your credit report so you know you will get approved and you won't be having all of these inquiries. Um, typically, I'm in a pretty good situation. My lowest credit score right now is like 785. So pretty much anytime I go anywhere and I apply for some credit, I get it because I have a high credit score and I'm in a state of gardening now. I'm not, 
I haven't applied for any new credit since like, I want to say October of last year. So I'm in the state of gardening because honestly, I don't need any more credit and also let my credit report inhale and groom itself for the future. Because I can tell you as a person with a high FICO score that having too many inquiries can get you denied if you're applying for certain things. This is how I got denied for the Bank of America business credit card because I had too many inquiries. So I'm at a point where I'm letting my credit reports age to get those credit, those inquiries off. And once again, if you never want to get denied for a credit card ever again in life, go to these boards, find out what credit score that they need. Number two, find out what bureau they pull. Cause once again, uh, like I got the credit report credit thing going on. I got a guy who has a very jacked up Experian, but his Equifax and his TransUnion are great. Now I didn't tell him that, Hey, we can go ahead and just push you toward cards like that. Cause those reports are good because essentially American Express, PNC, um, not Truist, Truist pulls Equifax in Georgia. Um, typically, once you go ahead and get this information, you know what credit score you need, you know what credit bureau they pull, and also you want to make sure that you don't have a bunch of inquiries on your credit report. This is one of the things, and this is something I'm seeing because you know I'm in the credit repair space now. I'm seeing people with the worst credit have the most inquiries because they're constantly trying to get something. They're just taking a shot. Just taking a shot, like maybe they'll give it to me. You know, maybe I'll squeeze on through and they're making their credit report worse because this is one of the things I can tell you from a state of presence and being. When your credit score is high, when they pull it, it often doesn't change. When your credit score is low, you can lose five to 10 points per inquiry for the next three to six months. And who's the people having their credit pulled the most? The people with the worst credit. It's an absolute no-no. So you can go to the internet, find out what, what credit FICO score, FICO, I'll talk about that in a minute. Then you can find out what they pull, and then you should have an idea of what your credit report needs to look like. Because I can tell you, typically, if you only apply for credit like every six months, that puts you in a good position because you apply for six months, then the next time you apply for credit, those six month credits, they're, they're like six months. Let's go to your third six month, 18 months, you apply for credit. Those inquiries are a year old. And then when you go to 24 months, those first inquiries are dropping off. This is why you wanna only apply for credit every six months or maybe every eight months because this gives you time for the inquiries to age and to come off. And also, this is something else that's possible. There's an inquiry removal kit. You can get inquiries off Experian fairly easy. You can get inquiries off Equifax and get inquiries off TransUnion. But typically, you need to know what you're doing, and this may cost you some money. It may cost you some time. But you don't want to have a credit report with a bunch of inquiries if you have a low credit score. Now, typically, if you have a high credit score, you can get away for applying for more credit. And also, it, the state of your credit report. Right now, on my credit report, it has my utilization at 1%, because you know some things actually report. But in any month, I don't have more than 500 bucks point reporting my credit reports on my personal level. So essentially, you want to have the score, what bureau they pull, and your credit report groomed for that credit card. Because like, you know, Capital One is really, you can get Capital One, their, 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 their prime bucket cards, you can get those pretty easy, and you'll get a credit limit of 500 to maybe 3,500, maybe 3,500. So that's where you are with Capital One in terms of, you know, getting a card. But typically, if you follow this strategy, number one, research the credit card before you apply for it. I'm just, you know, like 
I've, I've looked at, you know, today's Tuesday, I've looked at a lot of credit, I've looked at a few credit reports, and I'm just sitting there like, why are you applying for credit when you know you have bad credit? Why are you applying for bad credit when you have bad credit? I don't understand. And part of this is people don't understand how the banks work, how the credit bureaus work. They just don't understand. But typically, if you do this and you go ahead and have a strategy, a methodology, you will never ever get turned down for a credit card. The last credit card I got was from a credit union. Now I knew I had the credit score and I was kind of having some inquiry issues, but I still got the credit score. I got the credit card. I had to reply, you know, give them my pay stubs and I had to give them my bank statements to prove that my pay stubs were deposited into my checking account. This is something that's going to become because credit unions typically want to know proof of income. They want pay stubs, but typically if you educate yourself, go to the internet and research that credit card, look at what the credit score is needed and look how to get in. You will never get turned down for another credit card ever again, ever. Ever, you will not get turned down for another credit card ever again. Now, one of the things I'm getting ready to do, and I, I had a very strong conversation with some people today talking about their credit, because many people, I don't really think they think a lot about their credit. They really, really don't. But essentially, what you can do is Number one, know what bureau they're going to pull. It's on the internet. Know what credit score you need. It's on the internet. And also groom and optimize your personal credit reports so you can get that card. Right now, I've gotten too many cards. I cannot get any of Chase's business credit cards because I have too many inquiries and I have too many open accounts. Uh, September, I believe, a lot of this stuff is going to age off and I'll be in a position to get Chase credit. I already know this. There's no point in me going to Chase and getting two because Chase is going to pull your Equifax and maybe your tr TransUnion, getting two hard hits for a car that I know that I cannot get. Makes no sense. So I would not go to a Chase branch. I would not go to Chase online. I would not apply for the car because I know I can't get it. And th there's been some controversy about those cards because if you're a member of Chase and you, you have a Chase product and they send you an offer that these offers will work for you. And I went, I fell for that bad trick once it didn't work. So I know until I get those inquiries and those open accounts age, I cannot get a Chase Inc credit card. I know this. So it makes no sense to apply because I'm an educated consumer. I know what it takes to get the card. I know what credit scores. And, but once again, I have too many recent accounts that I got in the last two years for me to actually walk into a Chase branch and think that I have a chance of getting a Chase credit card. It makes no sense, so I'm not gonna do it. And this is the attitude that you have. You should not be going out and stacking your credit report with a bunch of inquiries, just swinging in the wind, just like, hey, I'm gonna chance it and see if they let me in. Don't do that, don't do that. Because this will put you in a position where you will never get, like the last card that I got declined for, there was two. Bank of America business credit card, I had too many inquiries. And then the Chase card that they sent me an offer and I applied and I got turned down and they actually said too many open accounts. Too many open accounts. So once again, and I'm a person with a high credit score, but you have people on the internet. And once again, let's go ahead and have this conversation. There's a lot of people on the internet just straight up lying to you. You're not going to get a $50,000 credit card with a low FICO score and low income. It ain't happening. But there are people who want you to feel there's a chance. There's a possibility. There's a chance. There's a possibility that you could go ahead and get that, right? It ain't happening, man. It ain't happening.